Well, blue skies, burgers on the grill, and fireworks lighting up the night. That's what will drive millions to travel this weekend to enjoy the summer's signature holiday. That's right, but the aftershocks of the pandemic mean flying will never be quite the same again. 7 News reporter Colin Roos went to the Pittsburgh International Airport to show us how to have a hassle-free flight experience in 2020. Colin. Taylor, the engines are roaring again at the Pittsburgh International Airport. This week, they're expecting about 95% of the demand they saw on 4th of July weekend in 2019. While that sounds like great news, what hasn't recovered is the number of pilots, mechanics, and check-in attendants to get those flyers across the country. Here's what you'll need to know before you step through that TSA scanner. 145,000. That's how many people are expected to come through the Steel City between now and next Tuesday as its airlines prepare for an increase over even last year's numbers. That's translated to canceled flights around the country and lots of time spent in airport chairs. Pittsburgh's airport says they've kept things relatively smooth for their passengers, but unfortunately there won't be any way to get around the waiting. Just to be prepared for long lines, you want to have a little bit of patience, especially during a heavy travel time like this one. However, waiting around is still preferable to the stress of being late for a flight. That's why it's still recommended to arrive two or even three hours before your scheduled departure time, especially when lines like these are guaranteed. There's even a more efficient way to stay updated than constantly checking those blue screens. And technology is going to be your very best friend. Uh, so make sure you download the Airlines app um, and you know, opt in for those text messages so that you can have real-time updates in case you have uh, cancellations or changes to your flight. And here's a pro tip if you're traveling with children. A lot of families are traveling this weekend, right? So waiting in those lines, waiting at the gate, things like that, it can get a little antsy. Bring some snacks for your kids. So you want to be prepared for anything, but that doesn't mean you'll necessarily run into problems. The passengers we spoke with didn't have any hiccups in their flight plans. We flew three weeks ago and it was terrible. It took us about three extra days to get home. Wow. That's so, but today, so far so good. So do a little research ahead of time, pack some extra patients, and be kind to the staff. That 4th of July get-together wouldn't be possible without them. Now, Nissan says you can save even more time by checking the TSA's website for items that are allowed on flights. He's seen security have to confiscate fireworks from luggage in the lead-up to the holiday. Live in the 7 News studio, I'm Colin Roos, working for you.